Hey, Dave Philp here. I'm not a name dropper and I don't pretend to know people because I don't know that many famous people, but I was just coincidentally uh, with Bono about two weeks ago and, and he said to me, it is Irish brogue, you know, he, it is, as only Bono does. <laughs> he said, tell me about your favorite. This is English. I'm not good at the Irish brogue. He said, tell me about your favorite time of the 1970s. And I thought it was interesting because coincidentally, I'm involved in a 1970s show with the Hanover Wind Symphony on June 16th in Whippany, New Jersey. Buy tickets now. <laughs> it's seriously. And so I said, Bono, I don't just out of the blue come up with stories about the 70s. He says, come on. I said, all right. Well, I don't, as I just told you, I'm not a name dropper. So I said, well, I guess my one story would be this party I was at. I was with Grace Slick and Bob Dylan, and we were talking about the 60s. And I was saying how the 60s, to me, were really just a time of utter chaos and, and conspiracy and, and, at times, anarchy. And Neil Young comes over, and he goes, I think I want to write a song about that. And he does that in his sort of high-pitched Canadian thing. And Linda Ronstadt and Emmylou Harris are standing next to him, just nodding away like they do. And I said, you guys, I, I don't understand where you come up with these words, with it, with these ideas of your own, and, and suddenly I get a tap on the shoulder, and it's Paul McCartney, and he gives this whole thing about, you know, when I was in the Beatles with John Lennon, and I said, J Paul, stop right there, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you talking about the Beatles. Do something new, do something different. And so he runs over to this piano, he starts playing some song from a James Bond movie that nobody's ever heard of before. And, and so we kind of walk away. And so I go into another room, and there's Bowie. And Bowie's uh, with Mick Jagger, and I don't want to say they were kissing, but they were close to each other. And Bowie looks at me, and then he looks back at Mick, and then he looks back at me, and he goes, were you at Woodstock? I say, I was not at Woodstock. I was never at Woodstock. I wasn't at Woodstock 94. I wasn't at Woodstock 69. I was not at Woodstock 2028. I'm not going to Woodstock. Never been to Woodstock. So Jimi Hendrix, who had long since died, somehow showed up and he starts playing the guitar and Bowie's like, burn it, burn the guitar, burn the guitar. And he starts laughing, this hysterical laughter. And I realized that he and Mick were smoking and they were a little bit high. So anyway, I, I said, you guys, I've had enough of this. And Grace Slick comes, Dave, come back with me, come back with me. So Grace Slick and I, we go back into the other room and she starts to slowly undress me with her eyes. I say, don't do that. I'm married and I'm not about to get into that. Thank goodness Bono showed up at the last minute and he said, come with me. I'll show you how to do an Irish brogue accent. So Bono and I come back and suddenly we're back in 2012 talking about the Hanover Wind Symphony and our Rock and Wind 70 night, 70s night, June 16th. So maybe you should be there because maybe we have some better stories that really happened as opposed to this story, which really did happen. But I don't want to name drop any more names because last thing I want is for Dickie Betts to show up out of the blue and punch me in the mouth. <laughs>